Hey, what's going on? It's Mike here with another episode of Smart Simple Digital. Now, by now, many of us have been at home, social distancing, self-isolating, or under quarantine for several weeks, or you know, in some cases, nearly a month now. And you know, as we get closer to that light at the end of the tunnel where we can go back to a somewhat normal way of life, some of you out there may be getting restless or beyond restless or stressed, or you may be on the verge of going completely stir crazy at home. Here's Johnny. So in today's episode, I'm gonna share some cool, interesting, and most importantly, free things that you can do, see, and experience online. And you know, hopefully you can use some of these things to entertain yourself and to relax your mind until we get through all of this. Now the things that I'm gonna share fall into five different categories. Books, fitness, movies, music, and sports. Now before I jump into things, if you haven't done it yet, consider subscribing to my channel. You know, especially if you are a returning viewer or if you just happen to be someone who enjoys the content that I share. I just click on the subscribe button below and each time that I release a new video, you'll be notified. Now let's get into it. So if you enjoy reading and you're looking for some new books to check out, here's some free resources to try. First up is Audible Free Listens. Now Audible is Amazon's audiobook platform and during this time they're offering free access to a portion of their catalog of audiobooks. They have everything from recently released bestsellers to their own original titles. To get started, you just need to create a free account or you can use your Amazon account if you already have one and you can listen to the books on your computer, smartphone or tablet. Now in addition to that, there's also Audible Stories. Now this is a section of Audible that is dedicated to children's audiobooks. You know, they have titles for all ages from young adults to teens and in various languages. Now with this one too, you just need to create a free account to get started and then you're all set to start listening to books on your computer, smartphone, or your tablet. Now next up is Project Gutenberg. I mentioned this one before here on the channel. Project Gutenberg is an online library and at the time of this recording, they list having over 60,000 eBooks in their collection and they're all available for free. There's no sign up necessary to get started with Project Gutenberg. You can just visit the site, find a book that you like and begin reading it online or you can download it to your e-reader. You know, although there are a bunch of premium video streaming services out there to choose from, you know, like Netflix and Hulu, if you don't want to make a commitment to one of those, or if you already are committed to one, but you need some variety, uh, then there are some free options out there that you can take a look at. Now, first up is the Roku channel. Now, Roku is a company that makes digital media players that allow people to stream video over the web, but they also have the Roku channel, which is a free website where you can watch a wide selection of movies and TV shows and even some live content as well. You can watch from your computer or through the Roku app on your tablet or smartphone. Next up is IMDB TV. Now IMDB is also known as the internet movie database. And you know, like many people, I often use this site to look up facts about movies or shows that I'm watching. However, what I didn't know until recently is that you can also watch some of your favorite movies for free on the site through their IMDB TV service. You can watch from your computer, the Amazon Prime Video app, and Amazon Fire TV devices. And last but not least is Crackle. Now Crackle is another great option to check out for free movies and TV shows that you can stream online. You can watch from your computer, smartphone, and also from streaming devices like the Amazon Fire Stick, Roku, Apple TV, and others. Sadly, concerts and music festivals are canceled for the remainder of the year, which really sucks if you were looking forward to a particular tour or a festival like Coachella. And also, many museums and galleries have also had to close their doors during this time too. However, there are still some fun ways that you can experience music, art, and culture online. Now, first up is NPR's Tiny Desk Concert Series. This happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, Tiny Desk is a live video and music series hosted by NPR Music. Uh, each episode features an artist live in the studio performing some of their favorite songs and they're backed by a live band. You know, many artists have performed on this series over the years from indie acts to big names in the industry and you know, artists from all different genres of music. And what's cool is that all of these performances are available on the Tiny Desk YouTube channel. There are hundreds of them available for you to watch. 
And also, since we've been stuck at home during the quarantine, uh, they've started to feature special home concerts for many artists as well. It's definitely worth a look. Next up is Google Cultural Institute. And you know, if you're someone who enjoys going to museums or experiencing art and culture, this is one that I think you'll really dig. Uh, it's a website where you can take virtual tours of museums, art collections, and famous landmarks from all over the world. You can literally take a 3D walk around the Great Pyramids in Egypt, walk through the halls of the Air and Space Museum in DC, one of my favorite places, uh, or get up close and personal with art collections from, again, from galleries, from all over the world. You know, there are tons of interesting places that you can explore on the site. It's very cool. Really, really, you guys should take a look. Although gyms and fitness studios are closed right now in many places, that doesn't mean that you have to abandon your workout routine. And that's because there are lots of virtual fitness programs that you can take part in right from your home. You know, for instance, many gyms are now streaming workout classes online. Planet Fitness, for example, hosts daily live workouts on Facebook. Gold's Gym and 24 Hour Fitness also have live and on-demand workouts available online. There are also apps available too, like Nike Training Club and ClassPass, where you can access on-demand workouts and even some live classes as well. Uh, there's everything from yoga to cardio to strength training routines. And there are workouts available on these apps for people of all fitness levels. And then of course, there are lots of independent fitness instructors all across social media who are streaming content now as well. You know, I can't highlight all of them, but if you just take a look through your timelines, your news feeds, and you know, just check with some of your friends on social media and check in on some of the fitness hashtags and places like Instagram and Twitter, you're definitely sure to find them. Although major league sports have canceled their seasons for the foreseeable future, you know, you can still get your sports fix online if you need to. You know, that's because most leagues have made their video streaming platforms available right now for free. You know, normally you need to have a paid subscription to access these. Uh, for football fans, there's NFL Game Pass where you can watch replays of games from as far back as the 2009 season. For basketball fans, there's NBA League Pass, where you can watch full games and replays from the 2019-2020 season, at least up to the point until the league shut down. There's also an archive of classic games and content available to explore as well. For hockey fans, there's NHL TV, where you can watch any game from the 2019-2020 season, again, up until the point when the league shut down. And for baseball fans, there's MLB TV, where you can watch games from the 2018-2019 season. And they also have a YouTube channel as well, where you can watch classic games from over the years, some daily shows, and other original content. So that's it. You know, I know that was a lot of information, but nonetheless, I hope that you found it helpful. Now, if you did, Please like this video, please share it as well. And also again, consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, also leave them down below in the comments. And as always, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.